first of all, Kevin, just how do you feel just uh, coming off of the uh, obviously surgery in the offseason? Just what's your status right now and just overall feeling of the going into the season? I feel great. Uh, I'm ready to go. Um, uh, did everything necessary in order for me to be back on the court. Um, just exciting time for uh, for uh, Thunder basketball and uh, for myself. I'm um, just getting back out there with my teammates and uh, all starts tomorrow. So, yeah, I feel great. Did it take a while for you to kind of trust everything? I mean, you've been, I know you've been playing pickup and everything five on five. Were you trusting the, the injury after you healed from the get-go? Uh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I uh, never want to live in fear. I mean, if uh, I love the game so much, so if anything were, were to happen again, I have to live with it. So, yeah, I think if I would have went out there uh, with doubt in my mind, I would have uh, – you know, something would have happened. So, I just – I was always taught no matter what, if I'm on the court, I'm all right. Kevin, did you have the opportunity to do some things this off season that you normally wouldn't have been able to do, considering um, you had some more time on your hands? Uh, yeah, I did. Can you describe some of those things you were able to do? <laughs> uh, no, I rather no, I rather not. Okay. Respectfully. Yeah, Kevin, you guys spent the last five years or so at the forefront of all NBA discussion. Yeah. Last year, all the injuries don't make the playoffs sort of fall off the radar. And some people have you back on the radar and some people don't. Yeah. Do you like sort of this status all of a sudden, which is different from what you guys have been since since 2011, really? Oh, I feel like I'm playing the game right now. It's so hot. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, radars and, and projections and comparisons I really don't matter to me. I mean, that's not my job. I, my job is to go out there and work as hard as I can every single day and, um, you know, try to be the best leader and best teammate I can be. Um, that's for you guys to, to debate, with, debate with each other and fans. But me as a player, I, I don't worry about that stuff. Yeah, uh, Kevin, did you watch the playoffs at all last year? I did, even though I lied and said I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> what was that experience like for you? Uh, it sucked. It sucked. Um, uh, I hated seeing someone else win. Um, but, you know, it was some great, great basketball games being played. You know, I got to respect it. Um, but I hate, hate seeing you know, those guys win. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it, it was good to you know sit on the couch with my friends and and uh, you know watch uh, watch some basketball and uh, when it was over, it kind of sucked as well not to not to see not to see some good ball out there. But you know it's a new year. Um, <clears throat> man, around this time every team is excited. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the season. Kevin, with your free agency all year long. Uh, you know, the fans around here obviously want you back. Do you want them expressing how much they want you back, or do you already know, or would you rather not hear anything um, from the public? Um, I mean, if that's that's something I can't control. Uh, I'm not one of those guys that is looking for praise or looking for, you know, anybody that's, you know, just to, I don't know how to put it, but to, you know, I guess lobby me or whatever it is. but. No, I, I never look for stuff like that. I just enjoy playing the game of basketball, and I enjoy these wonderful fans here. And um, just want to give them the best version of me I can. That's that's all I can do. I can't control what, everything else. Kevin, was there a, a specific <coughs> moment or move that you made maybe during the off season where you thought, "I'm back. It's fine. You know, it's, I'm finally here again." I never thought I left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never. Th I never thought I went anywhere. I uh, just had a little small break. Uh, Kevin, for Telemundo, uh, we saw in the summer you spent some time in Spain. Can you tell us about your experience over there? And were you able to pick up some words in Spanish? Uh, 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 I, I think I pick up more words in Spanish from watching Narcos than I did from being over <laughs> being over in Madrid. But uh, it was a it was an amazing experience for me. Um, had a great time. Uh, biked around the city, seen some uh, some beautiful uh, parks and, and different sites. It was amazing. So uh, I'm looking forward to going back. Kevin, a couple, a couple guys who had been to Russell Westwick's wedding said that it, it put into perspective <coughs> how much you guys had all been through and how many people yeah. you had come into contact with. Uh, just from being 19, 20 years old here to now being a Russell getting married. Yeah. What, what was the experience like for you? It was, it was, uh, it was, it was eye opening. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it showed me that we are getting older and um, things are changing. But uh, more importantly, I was just more so happy for Russell and his beautiful bride Nina. And, you know, I've seen, we've all seen them grow up together. And, um, you know, I think it'll really be a shock once they start having kids. But 
uh, it, it was it was great to see them both happy, and uh, we we all consider them family. So, you know, just see everybody there and supporting was amazing. Kevin, can you describe your relationship you've been able to cultivate with Donovan? Uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. I enjoy him. You know, a great basketball mind, but but more so a better person. And um, we've uh, we've hit it off since the beginning, and I'm um, just uh, excited to play for him and. I'm excited to go through the first day of training camp with him, and um, you know it's, it feels like uh, you know he's a rookie. Well, he is a rookie, but he's been coaching forever. But you know, in this uh, in our league, it's a little different. So, yeah, well, I'm excited. I built a great relationship with him, and I know it's only going to grow by, uh, by us getting on the floor. Do you anticipate how many, a lot of changes in offense and defensive schemes or anything like that with the new coach? Um, I. I we got to go through practice first. We haven't really talked about that. You know, that's that's more of an on-floor discussion. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, Kevin, saw you at the uh, Texas game. Any words of encouragement for uh, Charlie Strong and, and the rest of the Longhorns out there? That's a low blow, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan no matter what. Um, you know, I'm, I'm expecting a better week next week. And, uh, you know, even if they don't have a good week, I'm still going to be a major fan. So, yeah. Uh, last in the race. <clears throat> Katie, when you, you're a contributor now to the Players' Tribune. And in that release, you said that you wanted to be able to talk without any distortion. What, what did you really mean by that? Exactly what it's a hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know you guys have to do a job. But um, sometimes our message isn't portrayed as the way we want it to. Um, and I think it would be a cool outlet. I'm not using it just to bash the media or, uh, you know, put, you know, get just major stories out. I mean, I'm doing, I want to do cool things on there to, to, to touch people a little differently than I would in a uh, press conference setting. So it's not, it's not just like I will not talk to you guys and do all my stories there. And, you know, um, definitely be some cool things that will show more of my personality than anything.